Welcome back. We do sincerely apologize for our inability to conclude that interview. We started with Mr. Augustine Edgar, who had joined us to take a look at security logistics of a presidential inauguration. We did have some technical glitches that needed to be sorted out. Uh, but right now, it's time for our second hot topic. I want to take a look at the over 13 trillion naira spent on subsidy payment in 16 years uh, in this country. And we have been joined by Mohammed Abdullahi, who is a public affairs analyst. Hello, Mohammed. Good to have you join us. Uh, good morning, Nigerians. It's my pleasure. Yeah. All right. So uh, this outgoing government, uh, this administration of President Muhammad Buhari uh, has uh, made some things known to us, especially recently at the unveiling of the 2022 to 2026 strategic plan of the Nigeria Extractive Industries Transparency Initiative in Abuja on Monday. And part of what they revealed to us is this over 13 trillion naira spent on subsidy payment in 16 years. However, uh, one of the things that stood out in that um, meeting uh, uh, that they said is that uh, they are also insisting that they have performed excellently well in the management of soil, uh, fuel subsidy. Do you share this, um, this, this, this excellency that they've attributed to themselves? Is it reflective of the prevailing economic realities on ground? Uh, it's... Um it's quite confusing to some extent because I remember before 2015, I mean, the elections that brought in the President Muhammad Buhari, who was all over the media, uh, you know, talking about uh, the fact that uh, there was really no subsidy being paid by the pre previous government. Uh, in fact, that uh, uh, subsidy was a kind of a scam by the previous government. Uh, but having said that, I think when they came into when the president and his team uh, came into power after 2015, they realized that uh, uh, truly there was a kind of subsidy, even though it's not too beneficial to the common Nigerian. Uh, so, but 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 shockingly, I I I for once would have um, thought it would have been better to actually separate what the current government have paid for subsidy. Uh, from, you know, the previous uh, government. Because if you look at what you mentioned and the report says in 16 years, mm -hmm. it would have been better, I think it would have been better, I haven't seen the report, but it would have been better to see categorically what the current administration of President Mohamed Buhari has paid in the past eight years. I think that would have been a better measure uh, of uh, talking about what the, the government has achieved, whether it has done well or not compared like you rightly mentioned, with the economic realities of wars on ground and vis-a-vis -vis, uh, the availability of uh, PMS and other uh, crude oil products, uh, how Nigerians have enjoyed, you know, in the past eight years, how, how we are fed and so on and so forth. Uh, so I think it would have been better if um, it's uh, this administration, what they have spent on uh, subsidies is actually separated from the past eight years. Uh, having said that, that is one. But I, I, I think another challenge is the fact that, um, you know, I, I remember vividly as part of the uh, as part of the reasons why Nigerians voted in the, the, the outgoing government is the fact that the government made promises of uh, actually ending this uh, debacle that has cost Nigeria uh, this, you know, lingering subsidy, if there's anything like that. I mean, uh, the, the government made mention of the fact that uh, every year it has it will revamp, I mean, our existing uh, um, refineries, our existing petroleum refineries that has cost us a whole lot in terms of uh, shipping our crude oil abroad and shipping in PMS product that is so, so much in demand and in need uh, to many Nigerians across the board. So I think the government has also failed in that regard. So, uh, which, which is a big disappointment that even at this moment, we are still talking about subsidy uh, uh, after 60 something years of independence in, in Nigeria, that we still import, we still export our crude oil and then import PMS. Uh, so I think uh, those are my two points uh, of what I observed in, 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 in the said report. Okay, well, um, they didn't separate it, and I, I am not going to give uh, details of that just for clarity and to be accurate. 
Um, I do not have it that broken down at the moment. However, uh, they did say that it is that 13 trillion that has been spent in 16 years. Also, one of the things that stood out from that meeting is the fact that the federal government is developing a comprehensive guide for the incoming administration of Volatinibu on how to manage the removal of subsidy of petrol. Uh, do you see them, having uh, said what you said, do you see them being in the position to do this? To give a guide to the incoming government with regards to fuel subsidy, how to manage it? Uh, you know, I'll still go back to my earlier point. It's shocking that, seriously, we're even still talking about a, a guide on how to manage a petroleum subsidy. Remodel. Because, seriously, I think at this point in time, like I said, if the outgoing government has uh, made true of its uh, promises to Nigerians, I think we would have been talking about, I think the right thing that we would have been talking about now is to talk about how, you know, probably to increase, uh, you know, refining capacity, how to increase uh, uh, maybe the existing refineries that we have. Mind you, yes, we have uh, a private refinery that is coming on board uh, that is said to be commissioned uh, on the 22nd of this month. I mean, the Dangote Dangote, refinery yeah. that is said to be the uh, largest trained refinery in the world. But you also want to understand that that's a private business. You know, everywhere all over the world, monopolies and businesses are made to make profit. So for anyone that is thinking because the, uh, the Dangote refinery is coming on board and everything will be an, an Eldorado for Nigerians, I think that person should have a rethink or people should have a rethink uh, because, like I mentioned earlier, uh, private businesses, particularly at this point in time that is even a monopoly, uh, we will have all... Okay, welcome back. We sincerely do apologize for all the glitches we're experiencing uh, with connectivity today. Um, our guest, Mohammed Abdullahi, public relations analyst, is still with, with us. He just joined us again uh, after sorting out uh, the problems with his connectivity. He's joined us from Cardinal State. Mohammed, good to have you back. Yeah, thank you. All right. So a while ago, when we started this conversation, you, you were talking about how that the 13 trillion naira uh, revealed uh, by the federal government as uh, what has been spent on subsidy uh, in 16 years did not give details as to how much this administration has spent. And while we're sorting out the connectivity problems, I did Google is your friend, so I checked, and I understand that 6.88 trillion naira uh, has been spent by this administration between 2015 to 2022, and that's from uh, the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited. So does that reflect the prevailing economic situation in the country? Did it reflect it's, in any way? Uh, if you, um, I think I'll, I'll, I will give uh, my answers in two ways. Um, to be very candid, I know that, uh, like what the government have been saying, uh, in Nigeria, we... We, we buy, I mean, the petroleum product, I mean, PMS, uh, is one of the cheapest around Africa, if not around the world. And so mm -hmm. you want to give kudos to the successive government in being able to maintain the fact that Nigerians uh, enjoy to some level of, uh, uh, you know, uh, some level of, uh, of cheap product in terms of uh, PMS, particularly. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so, so that's one. But again, the, the amount of money, if you say 6.8 trillion or so in the past uh, eight years, is actually humongous. If you compare it to particularly our national budget, I know our budget for this year is uh, somewhere around 20 point something trillion. So it means uh, in the past eight years, we've spent uh, uh, more than a quarter of uh, our country's budget, I mean, of our yearly budget, subsidize, subsidizing um, petroleum products. What is the challenge there, or what are the advantages? Yes, the advantages, like I said earlier, we as Nigerians have been buying PMS, I mean, relatively cheap. But again, the disadvantage is that uh, it has deprived us of uh, so many infrastructures, uh, like particularly even putting our, our refineries in, in uh, existing refineries uh, into uh, functional use. Uh, they are just lying there, people are collecting salaries without actually doing nothing, and so on and so forth. So I think realistically, I wouldn't say it has done well to the economy, uh, to I mean, to the lives of many Nigerians, because we keep recording we are, we are more impoverished. Uh, 
We have uh, so many Nigerians that are living below poverty line and so on and so forth. So perhaps I think it is the right time. I'm an advocate of the fact that, yes, Nigerians have been buying fuel cheaply, but I think, I think it is the right time that the incoming government face it squarely, uh, remove the subsidy, but gradually ensuring that we have our refineries functioning. That will caution the effect uh, of um, the subsidy removal. Uh, uh, subsequently, perhaps because we have, uh, you know, an existing Dangote refinery that probably, I mean, after the commissioning, we hope that it will become, it will be functional. And then, like I said earlier, we have our existing four refineries across the country functional as well. So competing uh, with, 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 with the private refinery of uh, Dangote, that would definitely reduce the effect, the subsidy removal we have on Nigeria. So, that, so that's, that, that's my own way of thinking uh, at the moment. Okay, well, I recall that the Minister of Finance, uh, Budget and Planning, Hajia Zainab Ahmed, had told members of the House of Reps that uh, the government had projected to spend $6.72 trillion on subsidy in 2023. 2023. I don't know if you remember that report. Hello, can you hear me, Mohammed? Uh, I, I, I don't think I remember. All yes, right. I can hear you. I can hear you clearly. Yeah. Okay, and also, you know, they had also planned that uh, subsidy would be removed in June until it was suspended. And she had also revealed that the budget for this year did not include subsidy for June. I mean, for July, I beg your pardon. So, petrol consumers may uh, pay about 8.4 trillion naira for petrol between July and December of 2023. What's your take on this? revelation it, it is very possible uh, like i mentioned earlier i think the, the right thing to do is actually to begin to begin it's going to be very daunting it's going to be very challenging it's going to be very uh, excruciating for nigerians uh, but seriously the right thing to do is begin the process of the subsidy removal if you look at the staggering figures that you've been calling all the while you know but the figures are very staggering. Very uh, if staggering. we have that, in fact, I mean, this year we are we are borrowing more than fifty percent of our budget figures. Yeah, we are borrowing external borrowing of uh, more than 10, 10 trillion naira to finance the budget, while we are paying, you know, we're paying such humongous money as subsidies uh, to very few Nigerians who are enjoying the largest. So I think yes, it's going to be excruciating. But the challenge again is the fact that the 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 the, the outgoing government have not put in the work. To make it easy for the incoming government to outrightly remove the uh, petroleum subsidy. Because but that's like what they are saying. They are saying that they are developing a comprehensive guide. Uh, they, are in the, if they have just two about two weeks to go, and they say they are developing a comprehensive guide for the incoming administration. Yeah, we are on the same thing. How, how, how do you develop a comprehensive guide when you've not put in the background work, the background? things that you are, not, you are supposed to do. And what are the background work? They are simple. The fact that, yes, you made promises that we will have our, our refineries, existing refineries, functional. Those are, those, are the, those are the best background work and the guide that you have given to this incoming government. Yes, I know the, 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 the government will, might be making an argument for the yet to be commissioned Dan Gauthier refinery on the 22nd of this month. But like I keep saying, that is a private business. That is a private, and you, we all know the, 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 uh, what private businesses mean across the world, what monopolies, for that matter, means across the world. So uh, I, I see it as a bit of achievement, but that is not what we really need. We really need our existing government refineries to be functional in order to cushion this effect of uh, subsidy review, removal. Because I bet you the incoming government will have a very daunting task. Like you mentioned, there is no subsidy uh, arrangement in the budget since from July. So it means in as much as this government is coming into power on the 29th of, uh, of, of this month, of May, it is left just one month to make all these plans. So Nigerians might begin to, you know, to hate this incoming government because they, they, if, 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 if they want to go by what is on ground, it means probably they might just be coming into power and what they, the challenge they may, they may be facing is to just remove the uh, subsidy outrightly, and that means we'll be buying PMS probably at 400, 500 naira, and you know what that means across board in Nigeria. So, 
Uh, I don't see the comprehensive guide they are talking about as uh, as a palliative. Uh, it's, 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 it's going to be a daunting task ahead. When you say gradual removal, can you just expatiate on that? Mohammed. Yes, what, what, what I mean gradual removal, I, I am talking about uh, the fact that there are things on ground to cushion the effect of uh, the removal. And I keep happening on the fact that even if it's one refinery that is functional, at capacity, you know, you say, okay, the Kaduna refinery is functional at capacity. It can actually service probably the North Central, you know, the, 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 the need of the North Central only, or even the need of two, three states only. That is fine. Then you can begin to remove the subsidy at that moment. Then you make sure that the uh, you know the, the Potaco refinery is also working that can service the south, south, and southeast. You know things like that are on ground. You know because I don't see the fact that okay, I think what the government is planning, you know, uh, getting the loan from the World Bank, eight hundred million dollars, just to pay some impoverished Nigerians, probably about five thousand uh, every month for maybe five months or six months or even one year. That won't go. That won't do anything to to, to the to, to the problem. Seriously. It's just like uh, compounding the problem uh, for me. So, but I think when I say gradual um, removal of subsidy, I mean we have our refineries working gradually and we can begin to remove uh, uh, subsidies. Well, thank you so much, Mohammed. Mohammed Abdullahi, public relations analyst, has joined us from Kaduna State to take a look at this uh, over 13 trillion naira spent on subsidy payment in 16 years, as revealed by this very current administration on Monday. Thank you again, Mohammed. Yeah, so it is, it's been the Wednesday edition of The Breakfast. And just before we go, let's give you the quote of the day. It's not stress that kills us. It is our reaction to it. And that's according to Hans Salye. I am Maureen Menon. I do hope that uh, you have a very splendid day this Wednesday. Join us tomorrow for another episode. Goodbye. <laughs>